Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on writing the half reactions of a single displacement reaction. So a redox reaction is one in which an electron is transferred. So as an electron goes away from, from one uh, element, that element's going to go up in charge and become oxidized. As that electron goes to a different element, that is going to be reduced in charge, and so that is called reduction. So you will either have oxidation where you lose an electron, or you'll have a reduction where you gain an electron, and the same electron that you lost in oxidation is the very same electron that's gained when you have reduction. So I need to break these two apart into which one is losing and which one is gaining an electron. And to do that, I need to start with oxidation numbers. I'm gonna start here with iron. Iron, solid iron, uh, anything that you can look at under the periodic table is going to have an oxidation number of zero. If it's not a compound, if it's just a, if it's just an element here, it's going to have a zero oxidation number. When I come over here to the iron, I'm going to see that nitrate, which is negative one, there's three of them. Okay, there's three negative ones. That means that this iron has to bind with three negative ones, but be balanced. So this has to be a positive three. You can ignore the coefficients in this, in this uh, balanced equation. Uh, when you balance an equation the other way, you'll have to, to add the coefficients, but just ignore them if you're, if you're trying to extract um, these half reactions from it. So if this was negative one, which is nitrate is negative one, there's three negative ones. This is positive three to, ba to balance with three negative ones. So iron has gone from zero to positive three, and so that is oxidation, all right? So oxidation is when it's gone up. So I'll put this to the side. Oxidation is your iron, okay, which is solid iron going to iron, okay, in three plus, okay, because this is aqueous, which means they'll break apart anyway. You'll have iron three plus three nitrates floating in the water. This is a spectator ion because you're gonna have uh, nitrates in uh, six of these and six of these nitrates also in the water. So your oxidation is gonna be your iron going to iron uh, ion. Your lead most likely is going to be your reduction. So you're always going to have a reduction and an oxidation. So we'll start here with this side. This is nitrate again. This is negative one. There's two negative ones, which means that this balances with two negative ones. And you have lead two plus, which is aqueous. This is aqueous also. Okay, lead two plus, which is aqueous. And on the other side, you're going to end up with lead metal Okay, so remember this one is zero, and this one was positive two. So positive two went down to zero, this is reduced. If it drops in charge, it's reduced, and so your reduction step would be the lead going to the, to the solid lead, okay? Now we're almost finished. The only thing that needs to be added to this is where's the electron, okay? How did I get from one to another? I either gave an electron away or I accept an electron. So where do I put the electron? This is zero, okay? This is neutral, this is charged. So I need to add the electron in the, to the side which will cancel it. You see, I want it to equal zero. So three plus plus three electrons will be balance it. The, this will go to zero because positive three and negative three are both is together as zero and this is zero. So the three electrons goes on this side. The reduction side, uh, how many electrons were transferred? I went from positive two to zero. Okay, so how do I make them both zero? I add electrons to the positive side so that I can cancel it. Well, how many electrons were transferred? two positive went down to zero, so I need two electrons on this side in order to make it. And that is your answer. Your oxidation step is Fe 
solid, yields, Fe3 plus aqueous, plus three electrons, that's your oxidation, and they're asking for reduction, the reduction's your other one, lead two plus, which was aqueous, uh, plus your two electrons, yields lead solid. Okay, I hope that helps you.